What is going on everybody? It is Flashback here as usual. How are you doing in this wonderful evening, morning, afternoon, whatever it is, where you are. I hope you are having a wonderful day, wonderful week, whatever you are up to. We're going to be doing some more Dirt Track Racing 2 here today. Um, continuing on with our career, I do not actually remember where we were. Um, if I remember correctly, we were like 5th in the points? Yes, 5th, cool. Uh, the next race, I don't remember. Terry Hout. Alright. Go ahead and throw on a tune here. Shorter turns, longer straightaways. I think I'll just increase the final drive and go from there. Let's go ahead and practice. Still having this issue. Oh, well, it is what it is, I suppose. So, I know it's been about a week since I did upload one of these episodes, and I do apologize for that. It's been an incredibly busy week for me. Had a lot going on, and I, again, I do apologize. There's just not a whole lot I can really do about it, but I'm back, and at the end of the day, that doesn't matter anyway. <laughs> so, how's everybody doing? I mean, I know I already said I hope everyone's doing fine, but I really do. I mean, I'm having a meh kind of week, but the weekend's turning out pretty good, and... That's always nice when the end of the week is better than, better than the rest of the week, I guess. I mean, I would personally prefer the entire week to be really good, but you can't always have things the way you want them, I suppose. So, I'm not entirely sure how to run this track. It is not a very, very high bank uh, track, but it is very wide, very long stretches, and I believe my... I'm on, well, I actually am 98.5% certain, okay, I'm now 100% sure, that I am topping out my RPMs, maxing out this car before I hit the end, right there, I'm maxed out, not gaining any more speed at that point. I wish I could tell what my actual speed was, but unfortunately the speedometer does not work in this pile of crap. And it has a very, very poorly done crack in it, might I add, just looking down there. And then suddenly remembering that I should probably be focusing on the race and not my odometer and speedometer. But nonetheless, we are here looking at them because this track is very boring, very straight, very flat, and very... Well, that's a big moon on the bright side. Very big moon. And these trees are missing leaves. It is clearly autumn here. Clearly. Speaking of autumn, how is everybody enjoying the weather? I mean, I'm sure there's a few places that are still a little bit warm, but we're averaging low to mid 80s right now, Fahrenheit, and that's a lot cooler than the summers here, but it's still a little warm, but we did have some cooler weather last week, and it was nice to have. Led to a major downfall, but, or downpour, major rainstorm, but it all works out in the end, I suppose. There we go, gonna finish up, well, two laps, I guess, one and a half lap yet. Definitely not getting my lap record. I'm not even sure if I'm getting close to it right now with the better vehicle, for that matter. May have to do a little bit of work on that. I'm also certain I am not running the optimal line. That much I am almost 100% sure of. But there we go. Alright, cool. We'll pull in here. And voila, we are not going to hit anything. Damn it, we hit something. I'm an idiot. Alright. Yeah, I can do much better. I guess that technically wasn't in a stock car, I don't believe. But I think I like that where it's at, though. Go ahead and qualify with that. Before we do get into the qualifying session here, though, please remember to leave a like down below if you do enjoy this and would like to see more. Hit that like button. Let me know in the description or in the description in the comments what about this series that you do like and why you like it and why you're willing to deal with my voice just to watch it. Ooh. That might be perfect, but I think I may be a little short yet. I think 5.7 may have been exactly where I... Yeah, I think 5.6 might be where I want to be for the final drive. Just looking at what it's coming to right at the end of the corner. Or, right at the end of the straightaway. 
I'm keeping up a decent amount of speed through the corners, though. On the high line, bring it inside. I'm gonna run the low line on this one, bring it out, and straight. What's that get us? 16.7, we'll see how that works out between us and the competition, I suppose. Woo, Justin! All right, 16.7, definitely not my fastest, again. Fifth, got a lot of work to do to catch up. 5.65 I think might be good. Need to do any repairs, we're good. Let's go ahead and just race our heat here. Starting in the back, I really need to figure out why this is doing it. It's definitely graphics card related, but I don't know. I I can deal with it, I suppose. It's, it's just a loading screen after all. Oh, I apparently was not on the, on the gas there. Woo! Wow, the sound is glitching out something fierce right now. There we go, now it's fixed. That's much better. For some reason, I was not hearing my car at the beginning. Come on, I'm running the low line. Get your own low line. Hold it. Hold it, there we go. Decent turn, decent turn. Keep it going through the corner, just like so, and that wasn't too bad either. There we go. Holding it steady, I gotta, I'm gonna, I have to do my best to pass this guy for my own freaking sanity. You'd think with the upgrades I've put in so far, I would at least be able to keep up with these guys, but that is definitely not the case. It's going to be quite some time before I'm able to actually upgrade my car, and this guy is on my butt. He is definitely faster. Which is kind of a shame, really. I'll just pass him like so. And cut him off. Yay! Oh, come on. Stop hitting me. Woo! Went into that way harder than I wanted to. Oh, well. Uh, there's no way I'm keeping up with this guy. He always drives away from me in these corners. Or in the straights, actually. He drives away from me. I've got him beat in the corners for the most part. Not so much that one, but oh well. Take it in hard and then bring it out hard. That is about the only way I think I'm going to be able to keep up with these guys. Definitely taking it, in, taking it in a little harder than I would really like to. You, sir, do not get to pass me. That is not allowed. There we go. I think I want to get like halfway through the corner and then slow down. It just doesn't feel right to do that, if I'm being honest. Although that wasn't too bad, man. The slap traffic could have gotten me first if it was a little denser. Honestly, though, it did keep up relatively well, but again, it's a lot easier for the player to maneuver through lap traffic than it is the AI. That was a pretty good lap time right there. There we go. Alright, 16.54. That wasn't too bad. Not too bad at all. Skip to main, skip to my main, let's tune it again. Oh god, bring that back where it was. Try that out. It's not going to do anything worse. Do a quick chassis repair on there. I am broke. Wow. Alright. I'm not going to be able to keep up with these guys. There's just no two ways about it. Especially at the start, they're just going to pass me right by. I do not have the car to be competing here, but I do have the better driving skill. I believe, at least. Of course I say that, and I'm just getting bounced around. Come on. No. Really? 
Really, people? And you blame me for holding everybody up. Woo! Gonna be beating the car up a little bit here, I think. These guys are definitely faster coming out of the corners. And they really want to prove it to me. Gonna battle this guy to the death, it looks like. Probably my death. More than likely. This guy's gonna pass right by me, no problem. Still seems to be running in about the same position overall. Yeah, 6th, 7th definitely seems to be my final resting point at the end of these races. Kind of regardless of anything I try to do to speed myself up, it seems. Oh, dang it, I hit the I, Why did I hit the inside wall there? Am I really driving that horribly? That irresponsibly, if you will? Let's see if we can at least pass this guy. I'm gaining a decent amount of ground on the corners, which is nice to see, but I don't seem to be able to do anything beyond that. I don't know. This, lap, this lead pack isn't that far in front of me. It definitely leads me to believe that on shorter tracks, like, uh... Oh, what the hell is it called? For some reason, the only name in my mind right now is Weaver Park. I believe it starts with a B. Bloomington. I believe Bloomington is going to be a A main championship win for me. A, a main win for me, a feature win. I believe I could win that track. I believe it may be the only one, though. With my current power coming out of this poor little car here. I'm not so sure if I should focus on tires right now, focus on saving up for tire compounds, or what I should do. I think at this point I just need to focus on power. It's definitely these straights that are killing me. That was a decent corner right there. As was that. I mean, that one was a little bit slower than I would like, but... I'm coming into it fast, and I like to think that matters. It probably doesn't, but nonetheless, I like to think it does. Yeah, that was actually a slower lap overall. Okay, good to know. That lead pack did start to pull away, and this guy's going to take fifth away from me soon. From the looks of it, at least. Maybe I can pull away from him on these corners, though, if I run him right. This is a lap car, so passing him is not going to do anything for me. Unfortunately, but maybe I can use him to hold this guy off a little bit longer. Only well, got six, five and a half laps left. There we go. I think the inside line is definitely faster for my car. I don't believe I have the speed to keep up any sort of momentum in the corners running the outside line. Inside line is definitely faster for me. Look at that difference there. Definitely at least a little bit better. Hopefully I can keep it up through the corners here and maybe eventually pass these guys. My exploit sound just reversed. Great! That bug really needs to get fixed. I'm still surprised it hasn't. Like, right now, the audience is on my left. Fairly certain they're on my right. I did lose that guy a little bit. I have to hold him off for pretty much one more lap here to get fifth place. which will guarantee me at least fifth going, in, going into the next uh, 
event and the points. Which is something I would like to see. Naturally. It's kind of a weird turn right there. 15, 16.6. Alright. So that was the A main there. See how everything works out as soon as the A main is over here. Woo! Drifting! That was my fastest time besides that one, but I'm fairly certain that was not a stock vehicle. Look at how much faster than me these guys are. Yikes. Perfect. I have three events remaining with these guys. I now have Olfen offering me 210 per event. Very nice. What do we need to do for repairs here? We got you. I have the money. I may as well get it done. What are we looking at for the next event here? Parkside Motor Speedway. This will get us halfway through the season. It is a very long track. Let's see what we can do in terms of tuning here. Let's drop down to like a 4.6. Bring this down to like a, yeah. I'll run that for a while. See what that can do for us. And we'll practice with it. Yay, colors! Alright. Again, very long track. Very, very high speed track see how we can do here sitting in second there not even kicking it into third yet maybe that gives us some sort of hope Or maybe we went too short with the gear ratio, which that looks to be exactly what's going on here. Yep, I'm too short in the gear ratio. Although that's not necessarily a bad thing. Kind of gauge our lap times here. Then we would go into qualifying with a longer final drive. We'll see what we can do with that, see how much it improves. And if it doesn't improve, then we'll probably go back to this, but this just sounds slow. It feels slow. I'm not hitting the power band. The power band in these cars is generally around 6,500. I'm not hitting that until the very end of the track, of the uh, front stretch. This back stretch, I don't think I'm even hitting it. Yeah, right around that corner, I just barely get to it. And a lot of circle track engines are made by GM. Well, Chevy, technically, but... Yeah, I'm definitely running too low of RPMs through this corner. I kind of like the final drive where it is. No, I don't. I don't like the final drive where it is, period. It's just too much. And, like, look at that. I'm tempted to see what shifting down into neutral and back up would do there. But I have a feeling I'm just going to lose complete control of the of the, uh, of the car if I do that. Well, it doesn't matter. My uh, gear shifting isn't working anyway. Oh. I didn't. I was not even aware that button worked. It did anything for that matter. Must be because I don't have steam open. I chose not to run steam with it this time simply because the last time I did, everything kind of went kaput and did not want to work for me. It suddenly occurs to me I did not save the career before I came into this race. And that could bode unhappy for me if I happen to come across a crash. It's a very long set of hot laps. I just want to point that out. But I can do this! Manji! Oh! My god, that is weird. Yay. So, this is probably going to end it for the. Probably, I say probably. Definitely going to be the last lap of the 
hot laps here. Very, very slow hot laps. Not, I just don't know how I'm supposed to make that much, how I'm supposed to do well with that kind of a tune. Like, what was I thinking? There we go. Alright. Ooh, actually, surprisingly, that wasn't that bad. But... Let's run a 5.10. It sounds good to me. Need to do any repairs? Nah, we're good. Qualify! Qualify, 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 qualify. Ba-dum, bum, ba -da. Qualify. See how this feels. I already feels a little, quite a bit better. If I'm being honest, it definitely feels better. Now I have to watch, see where we are, where we are in the RPMs at the end of the stretches, and we'll go from there. I think it looks like a pretty good tune so far. Again, we'll have to base it off these two corners, off these two back stretches. Here, and then the final stretch, as soon as we're around this corner here. And seven. Oh, that looks good. That looks good right there. That was a bad turn, though. That was a very bad turn. Did that actually make us slower? No way that made us slower. Not the best qualifying run I've ever had. That much is for sure. Four true. Let's not say we didn't. How about that? Oh, I was drifting that. Let me drift. That was a slow lap. Yeah, 12th. Let's try this. Let's do... 5.05 for that. Come on. Do what I'm asking of you here. Let's try that. Can I actually bring this back down to like 4.8? 4, 4. Is that something I can do? 4.9 will work. Let's give that a shot here in the uh, heat. The heat's not something I'm overly worried about because I can always get into the B main or C main if I end up, if that ends up being necessary. So I can still kind of play around with the gearing a little bit. See what I like, what I don't like. Ooh. Kind of a... Kind of a speedy stretch there. I'm actually passing into the red barrier in the RPMs. I may have to play with that sometime. I wonder if that is really kind of where you want to be. 11,000 RPM, that'd be nuts in a car like this. Wow, that was fast, holy cow. And I was still in lap traffic for the first half of that. Is this how I need to run this? Oh, he is still on me. He is still on my butt. Not so sure why that was slower. Why the first lap was so much faster. I have to try and figure that out a little bit here. Cut low, cut deep, cut inside. Oh, that was a very bad turn. I had a chance to pass both of them because they were fighting, and I did that. I'm not even going to get off the gas here because I don't even need to. I can just do that. Now that turn, I do have to get off the gas. Obviously, that turn I don't need to. This one I apparently don't need to either. 
So we'll stay on it here. Why did I run such a fast lap time that one lap and now I can't match it at all? What was so much different about that lap? What did I do differently? It wasn't traffic. I don't know, that was weird. I cannot even come close to that time now. I just don't get it. I should not have hit him quite so hard there. Let's try that. Stay on the gas there, but don't bring it in too hard. I like the gearing. I think the final drive could possibly come longer. There was another fast lap. Seems to be this first turn that makes a major difference, but that was a bad turn there. Just doesn't make any sense. This and the setup is very fast, but it's not consistent. I don't get it. Well, maybe it leaves some possibility, some potential. I guess we'll just have to find out. I think that'll put me in the B main. Or actually, no, that'll, that'll put me in the C main? A main still, okay. <sighs> How can I make that better? For one, I can repair my engine. I think like a 4.8 is exactly what I need. Can I bring this to like, come on, show me what I'm looking for. Show me the money. Show me the money. Let's run something like that. See what that does for us. Bad idea to be doing this kind of tuning for the A-Main only. Not before. This could turn out very poorly or a freaking miracle. Nonetheless though, I think I do have an idea how I need to run. Okay, it was a bad idea. I can tell you that right now. Maybe not though. Definitely running higher RPMs in general, especially around the corners. Interesting. Very interesting. I will have to keep that in mind for sure. In terms of future tuning. You, sir, are very much so in the way. I wish you would get out of the way. Go. Got around him finally. Stay in the throttle, stay in the throttle. Let's get around that corner. Perfect. 20.47. Not too shabby, I suppose. Come on, push it, push it, push it, push it, push it. go. Come on. A little bit more of a consistent tune this time, it would appear. But it's not fast enough, and that's kind of what it boils down to. I'm just not fast enough. I can be quick if I need to be, but I cannot get the speed I need while being quick on the acceleration. On the bright side, I have caught up to this group here. They're all fighting for a position. Kind of butchered that corner from the looks of things. There's a watermelon in front of me. I find it kind of surprising that I made that much change. I expected it to be absolutely horrible and it really didn't slow me down any. Am I consistent? 
I'm actually consistently faster, but I can't be as fast, it seems. It seems pretty much impossible to be as fast as I was those few laps out of the last two. Although I say that I just kind of pulled off one of those fast laps. Not the fastest lap, I think I ran a 20.2 or 20.25, but nonetheless, that wasn't too bad at all. There we go. Took it in really hard into that corner. Seems like the low line over here is definitely the fastest way around this corner, which naturally, in theory, it is because it is the shortest route, but it also t you cannot take the low route as fast, no matter what kind of track you're talking about. It also depends on the vehicle, obviously. But I digress. I would like to at least crack top 10 for this. I'm right on him, but I have to beat him. There's 10th. I got it. I had to beat him out of the way a little bit, but I got it. I wonder. If I ran mostly inside for most of the track, that would make a difference. Let's find out. I mean, in theory, it's going to slow me down. That much is obvious. I feel should be obvious, at least. Let's see, though. Let's kind of just run a quick experimental test for science. Yeah. Yeah, overall slower. So let's see what we can do on the rest of the track here. Let's try the outside line here. I'm just mostly testing things out now at this point. You guys are on my tail again. So the fastest, the actual fastest route seems to be the best still. Which is outside, inside to outside, inside to outside to inside to outside to inside, etc., etc., etc. So yeah, it looks like I'm gonna finish this a main intent. And like I said earlier, if you do enjoy dirt track racing and you do enjoy watching it on my channel, please remember to hit that like button down below. Leave a comment, let me know if there's anything else you'd like to see, or if you'd like to see some more of this more more often or whatnot. And we will see you next time. Until then, as always, take it easy. Peace.